Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. Today's session is going to be about healing our heart and being with those who we love, who we care for. So I know that in life there is always a good time, happy times, times to party, times that we come together to celebrate something. As a matter of fact, I believe that every friendship, everyone we are with in good times and hard times is a relationship. So yesterday, I talked about us being like a tree, like being the bark of a tree. And some friends who come into our life or some people who are in our life are like a root. They root us, they ground us, and they support us throughout our life. And even through the bark of the tree, there's holes and scratches. And some people scratch on the tree. And I think that's the relationships that we go through through the years of the hurts, of our scars. And sometimes we scratch a heart on it with initials. And those are the loving parts about us and our relationships. But no matter what happens, there is no perfect tree. The tree sometimes bends and we have to put a stick to support it and to straighten it. And that's what we need our friends and our supporters and the people who stand by us. And the root goes deep. And no matter what soil we have, we have to nurture that soil and so it can become stronger and prosperous. Our trees have branches, right? And it's the branches that expand and that it gives shade to wherever, whoever is underneath it. So that's why a tree is called the mother tree. And I think the branches that expand, they also have leaves. And the leaves, I believe, are parts of our relationships that come and for a season and leaves change as seasons change. But branches that give flower during even the hardest times are when we have times that we blossom and we can give flower and that's the blossoming part of us but no matter what happens this one tree goes through a lot through each and every season and some relationships some friendships even our parents no matter where we are who we are with it's seasonal it might be for a season or it might be for years to come. For that, I want you to think of yourself as the bark of a tree and appreciate every scratch, every crack, every and everything that you have endured. And choose where that soil is and who you want to be with. And remember at all times that it's okay for us to become barren sometimes and become humble and with ourselves. Today, I am not in my office. Today, I am with a friend actually at a memorial that I walked out just to be here to be present for my Heal Talk Tuesdays because this is what I honor, this is what I have promised, this is what I give. And I think no matter what happens, 
I am present for the person I am here with. And this is the tail end of it. So it's not always at good times that we have to be there for our friends. But at times that they need us just to be there in silence. We don't have to say everything. We don't have to say a word. But our presence, just like that bulk of a tree, so that someone can sit and lean upon that tree and know that you are there just as a support and perhaps a shade. And when they need, drop a flower so that they know they can blossom with you. I know this is like a sermon and I didn't mean it to be preachy, but I was thinking about this. How often can we just allow ourselves to be supported? So many of us help others, give advice, but not often do we accept it or know how to appreciate it or accept it? And this brings to, I was talking to a friend of mine just um, two days ago. And she was saying how hard it must have been when I had to put Bodhi down at four o'clock in the morning. Then how come I didn't uh, reach out to someone and call? You know? Perhaps at four o'clock in the morning, I didn't, real, I didn't know who I could call. But at that time that I made that hard decision to release him so he's not in pain. He's in doggy heaven. I realized that I had me. I had a part of me that is very strong and a part of me that it was having a lot of hard times and weak. But it was through my weakness that I found my strength to drive home and sit. Sit in my mom's terrace on the swing and look at the horizon and appreciate life, appreciate everything. Appreciate the house, appreciate my mom, appreciate even Bodhi being a part of me for all the years and appreciate the strength that I had. And that's where I am. I become the strength for all my clients, my friends and everyone. And when I needed the strength, I found it in being alone. It's not lonely, but being alone. And we all have it. We have that inner child within us that we can tap into and be the parent for the child within and recognize that we always have a parent within us also. So on this day, may all of us be the strength for our family and know that no matter who our parents are, who our family and friends are, we have a choice. We have a choice to be loving. We have a choice to open our hand, expand our mind, and help not only transform and become stronger, but help someone else transform to the best that they can be. So, at this very moment, I thank you for being here. You look... Thank you. Thank you, my friend. And yes, Ron, I know you want to be the blossom. And every single person that you help and everything that you do, you are thriving and striving to be that for someone else. I hope today's session was beneficial even though it's short because I want to go back to being present on this day that my friend is saying goodbye to her mom and I am back in a Catholic church 
And sometimes it's so good to go back to our roots and recognize. Recognize that what we are trained as children. I grew up in an all-girls Catholic school and now I call myself more spiritual. But when I enter a Catholic church and when we kneel, it's the same kneeling, it's the same prayer, it's the same positions that we do in a Catholic church, that we do when we do yoga, when we do as a Buddhist, when even they do um, in a mosque. So it's all different homes, different temples, but the rituals of what we do is the same. So we bow and we raise and we say thank you to the higher up, to the ones above. May Lord be with you. May the universe and the light surround you. And God bless for today. I'll see you next week.